Hey everyone, Lance when I was here and welcome to Futures Edge episode 39. How's everyone doing today? I am still getting ready to go and fight the dragon. I don't want to do it yet because um, I will die. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is I've already got, I think it's soulbound on this one. Yeah, we got soulbound on the dark pick. I'd like to get soulbound on everything. Now, it's going to take a little bit of work because it's going to need a lot of experience. Um, and it's going to need a couple of things. So I've got one of the items I need. I'm pretty sure I've got a fair bit of lapis. Yes, we got a bit of lapis. Um, but what I need is an enchanter. Now this uh, recipe has been changed a little. We've got blocks of diamonds. We've got blocks of dark steel. So I've got some dark steel cooking up now. We've got five in here. Um, I think 28 is it? See, I need three blocks and one. Excellent. So let's make an enchanter. Like so. Uh, don't think it needs power. Mm. Lots of stuff in the room. No, it doesn't need power. Cool. So we're going to need some books and quills. We're going to need some lapis. And we're going to need some of these ender crystals. So to make... Uh, where is it? Looking through soul bands somewhere. Where it is soul band? Soul band? That's auto smelt. I didn't choose auto smelt. This is soul band. Even though it says decay there, this is soul bound. Um, just needs one of these ender crystals and 15 lapis which isn't too bad so we're gonna need a bunch of ender crystals got them a bunch of lapis got got some of that uh, book and quill is the next thing so we're gonna need book and quill oh that's lapis and the ink black dye Yes, I'm a little low on black dye. How many ink sacks? Or, or black dye, as I said. But, um, I hear you, Enderman. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Give me some experience. I want it. Give it to me now. Oh, give me a little bit. Every little bit counts, right? So let's just move some stuff around quickly, grab a bite to eat. Uh, and then I'm gonna need whoop, to turn my glider on would be a good start. Yeah, squiddies. Hey guys. Sorry. I just want your ink. It's all just your life essence. Nothing much. I want your life. Come here, Mr. Squid. Does this thing work on water? Nope. That's unfortunate. Just teleporting underwater would be a great little uh, bonus. Air would be nice. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work underwater. How many have I got? Ten? It's ten books. That'll get us close. Grab a couple more. Go. Even better. Oh. The delayed reaction. I'm loving this glider. I really am. It's definitely the easiest way to get over to Aussie's base. 
um, instead of running through the through the trees. I just glide my way over. Combo it with the uh, sword. Makes things really easy to get around. So probably gonna need some of this too. Very good. All right, let's make the books. I've got 14 levels. I've got enough for probably one lot of Soulbound. So yeah, as, as I said, I'm gonna need quite a few levels. So let's grab one of these. Um, cook me up some calamari. So in here, book and quill, one of them, one of them, 14 levels. Thank you very much. Um, and then I guess you and you. So I need one more level to be able to, to do that. So I guess I need 15 per, so 14 for the actual enchant. And then another one to be able to add it to what I want to add it to. Uh, one of the easiest ways I was finding of getting experience is actually to jump over to my um, my mining dimension. Especially when it's night time over here. So when it's night time over here, there's mobs everywhere. I mean, we've got... Hey, how are you? Looks like he had a tail. He's wearing a trench coat. Oh, I got a level. Uh, so yeah, I've just been jumping over here and grabbing levels as needed. As I said, especially at night. There's tons and tons of mobs here at night. There you go. Not really keeping up, are you? Not really keeping up at all. Cool. That's cool. I'll take some of this back with me. I meant to die once when I left. I didn't mean to leave it on. Right, so let's in here. And uh, this so it's now soul bound. So even when I die, I'm not going to lose my sword or my pick. And I want to do that for all of my armor too, because that will be very handy as well. Uh, wouldn't mind. I don't know if I can do this. Because this is quite special. So I don't want to lose him. Uh, can I? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Uh, it would be cool if you could enchant these. Oh, well, I mean, maybe I can. <laughs> but that's just going to require another 15 levels. So you can see i um, kind of a little stuck at that point for what I want to do. Um, this is going quite well. Had to throw a few more drawers in. But otherwise... Uh, I'm, I threw some fuel in the sterling generator so I can help out this, this quarry as well. Because this is still running. Getting some just junk, really. Lots of junk in here. Probably need to get some speed upgrades for this. Maybe we'll look at that. What do I need for them? Item conduit speed upgrades. Electrical steel. Yikes. Wrong one. That one. Do I have any electrical steel? I don't believe I do, actually. Nope. No electrical steel. But that's alright. Alright, so I guess... 
I guess I need to get a bunch more experience. And then, yeah, all, all I need after that really is to get that, um, is to get the dragon egg. Because once I got the dragon egg, uh, philosopher's stone, um, all of these things are straightforward, difficult, like difficult in terms of I have to craft an absolute ton of stuff, but straightforward in that it's just crafting. It's and all I need then is this dragon egg. Once I've got the philosopher's stone, well, you know, things are on their way. Uh, I guess the only other thing we could do, and the only other thing left really is um, start looking at making a rocket. Uh, which will need a launch pad. So I'm not sure how to make the launch pad yet. I'm going to need to do some looking into it, but we would need a guidance computer, uh, which requires all sorts of stuff. Rocket assembling machine. Launch pad. So yeah, there's lots of stuff to do in that mod. to get me off the ground. So I'd need, apparently you need a lot of liquid fuel tanks, you need a couple of liquid fueled engines, a seat, and then, um, yeah, I believe you need just one of the, wherever it is, the thing, observatory. You need one of the Don't blank. One of the, 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 the guidance computers. Guidance computer. That's what I want to say. Whole oh, bush. No queen, and it's all new. It's all funny. All right. Um, I'm going to go and hunt some mobs and try and get a few levels. It's going to take me a while. So I guess I don't think there's any other way of getting experience. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to make an experience obelisk. Which I can probably actually do. Do I have any of that? Let's check. Might be able to make... Excellent, experience obelisk, because I don't want to lose any experience. Okay, so give me a while. Um, for me, it's a while. For you, it's hardly anything. I'm going to go and hunt, try and get a few levels. Um, mining probably wouldn't hurt either. Maybe going down and mining a bunch of coal or something. I'm going to head over to the mining age. Do a bit of work to try and get some more levels and hopefully by the, I guess shortly, I'll be able to get my armor soul bound. And then maybe we can go and take on that dragon. See if I die again. That way I don't, you know, I don't care if I dump a bunch of this stuff into the system and then take only what's needed. You know, I don't, I don't really mind if I lose stuff, but um, I don't want to lose my armor. So... Give me a few seconds, and I'll see you soon. All right, I'm back. Um, it's now the next day. Um, <laughs> this can take a lot of you. I, I literally just spent the time coming backwards and forwards, putting uh, experience in there, and, and then um, and, and going back to the mining age when it became night time again. Um, Kind of getting a little bit tired of it. But on the plus note, you can do the charge porter. You can do the repair talisman. So I've just got this one more. i do my dark axe as well. And then I thought, a couple of my things here, like this is empowered. Yeah, the pants don't have empowered two on them, which I think is just, no, it's not basic, it's double, isn't it? Just one? No. No, just one of them. Okay. 
So this will give me um, better, and if I, maybe I can put a double on there. Still got a little bit of experience there. There we go. Uh, so that's now taking 75% of the damage. Um, kind of, kind of think we're at the point where that's maybe it. Maybe we can just go and uh, take out this dragon now. So I'll put this stuff away. Uh, you can go away, you can go away. You I'm gonna keep that because it's soul bound, that's fine. I can keep the food on me, that's not a big issue. I'm gonna need some more arrows. Um other than that. Do I have any arrows in here? Oop. Arrow. Arrow. Oh, I don't have many at all, do I? Honestly, could have sworn I had more than that. I saw a fire one. No, it's all well. Arrow. Okay, there's nine in that one. Ten. Now we'll see how we go. I don't think you can do anything with arrows. Can you can, you can. spectral arrow? What? What does that do? Tipped arrow. Projectile protection. No, that's fine. Okay, so we can actually enchant. You can enchant your arrows now? I did not know this. This is something that I have never seen. Lingering potion of poison requires dragon breath. Uh, awkward lingering potion. Lingering water bottle. Okay. What else can we do? Because I wouldn't mind doing something to this. So I don't know what spectral arrows do. Strength. No, I don't want to give them strength. Arrow harming. That's, see, these are all lingering, lingering potions. So I don't think I can. I don't think I can do this because it seems the lingering potions. I don't know, well... Okay, so you need a splash potion of poison and then dragon's breath to actually be able to... to make the tipped arrows. Which is unfortunate because that would be quite cool. I've got a few arrows. I'm going to make... Do I have any glass? I'm going to take some glass bottles with me. Maybe I can get some dragon's breath. Maybe I can do this. So let's... Um, I should be able to jump over to where that end portal thing was. I haven't been there, so it may take a second. No, oh, no, it's all right. Oh, I meant to leave that back at base. Eh, don't want to lose that. Don't have that. I don't have that um, protected. Cool. All right, let's give it a go. Um, I'm not even sure how long I've been recording for now. As I said, the uh, the the little bit in the middle there has taken a lot out of me. Um, Let's see. Dang it. Oh, okay, cool. Only, only done about uh, pushing the 20 minute mark now. Let's. You know what? Is my glider on? Yes, glider's on. Let's do this. Not scared. What's the worst that can happen? Aha! Not really where I wanted to be, but... I'd rather not be in the middle of this cage, thanks. Do 
Should be able to get a shotgun in here. Oh, come on. Hey, take that. That's actually, um... Yikes! Doing a, a bit of damage. Is that Dragon Breath? Oh, it is. Ow. Ow. And what? <laughs> Take that, dragon. Let's see. It was Dragon's Breath. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaty being able to jump out of there in a hurry. But um, let's just quickly see what we can do in the way of some poison arrows. I did eat. No. Come on, computer, catch up. We've got seven lots of dragon's breath, so let's go and get some water bottles. Come on. Six should be good. All right, now. Hey. All I want to do is open the brewing stand. All right, so if I take three of them, does nothing. So I guess I need to make them into What? Um, so arrow. Now I want like arrow poison. I want some sort of decent, decent harming weakness. Tip arrow. No, I don't want to make them better. Arrow of Decay gives Wither. How do I make Wither? Lingering Potion of Decay. Splash Potion of Decay. Redstone Gunpowder. Withering Dust. I may have some Withering Dust. I do. Gunpowder. Redstone. Let's try this out. Withering dust. I need some more blaze. Okay, withering. Because this may be a pretty decent thing to hit the dragon with. I mean, okay, so wither. So if I go redstone. Yeah, let's give it a go. Two minute wither. That does nothing. Do they need to be splash potions before I can turn them into lingering ones? Awkward lingering potion. Lingering water bottle. Splash water bottles. Let's give it a go. <laughs> As I said, you know, this is something I've never tried. Oh, it's doing something. I just need some arrows and I can make... This will probably change the amount of wither. I just want to give it a go. Can't hurt, right? 
Fires arrows at nearby mob. Wow. Lingering potion of decay. All right. What does that do? Wouldn't that be cool? No way I'm getting dark matter at the moment. I don't have a philosopher's stone. Um, open this up. Okay. Let's go and fight him. So got some normal arrows, got some some of this stuff. Can go away, they can go away. I'm not, not really all that worried. Let's go. I'm gonna get this dragon. Here, dragon. Ow! <laughs> Landing in the fire. Where is he? Did he do anything? I oh, might be giving withering. Not sure if it's actually using the right arrows. anything while it's like this, can I? Oh. Come back! I just want to hit you! Yikes! No. Yeah, that's loud. Take that. Ooh, where'd you go? No. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't need to be there on the hot bar. Maybe that should be somewhere else on my hot bar. I bet you it's reset now. Probably not the best arrow to be. Um, I probably need to do these instant damage ones. Alright, give me a second. I'll make up some instant damage ones so we don't go too far over time. And I'll be right back. Alright, these are made. Made some more arrows so I can have something to actually fire. Um, cool. Alright, let's go. Third time's charm. Oh, you know what I did. <laughs> really, really doing badly here today. You don't do anything. You provide strength. Have a look. Come on. Gotcha. Doesn't seem to do a great deal of damage. That was a bit. Not what I was hoping.
say I've ever I've ever done a vanilla uh, dragon fight, and now my game's gonna lag. Miss Dim. It's not very nice. Half health. As emails come in and annoy me. Gotcha. Ah, oh, missed. Come on. Isn't that like epic music or... Don't you fire that stuff at me. Not very nice. Come on. Oh no, I stirred up. Let's just kill the dragon. That's it. You're gone. Grab the shader. But honestly, yeah, have never done a regular kill of a, a dragon. So now I need to get that off of there. And. Hopefully the, the torch trick works. It does. I have a dragon egg. Woohoo! Again, like that a little bit anticlimactic, but um I can't say I've ever Oh, is that all it was? Oh well, that was a bit. I can't say I've ever done that in in um <laughs> In this sort of mode. I, I guess I didn't need to fly, did I? I just sort of beat him up on the ground. Um, you obviously got hurt. So you should just die. And your phantom, mate. Um, and I guess that's... That's... That's it. We beat the dragon. Awesome. I know what I'm doing next episode. So obviously next episode we'll be making... The... Um... <laughs> Whoop. What's going on there? Whoop. Things change there for a second. Next, next episode, we'll be making the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I'm pretty sure my computer really just had a bit of a heart attack doing that. Jumping in between um, the worlds there. But we now have a dragon egg. And all we need to get now is the other bits and pieces from Psy and Open Computers. So that is something I'm going to do in between episodes. I'll use this dragon egg. We'll get a Philosopher's Stone. We'll be able to craft just about anything we've ever wanted. And um, we'll go from there. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, sorry it was a little bit derpy. And I'm, I'm hoping I talked enough during the uh, the fight. Uh, it's one of those things. You know, you, you, you don't want to derp it up again. Like I've already died once on camera with the dragon. So... Didn't want to do it again. Look like a real, real silly thing. Um, but yeah, I've never used these arrows before, so they they worked okay. They weren't fantastic. I think the sword and just brute force, great getting myself some strength and and just nailing the dragon with my sword seemed to work better than anything else. Um, but yeah, comments in the section below. Hope you come back and join me for the next episode of Future's Edge. We're getting pretty close to the end of this series. Hopefully it shouldn't be too far away. But um, book's almost finished. Things are getting close. Thanks for watching. See you next time.